How did you almost die? Got lost in the Bolivian rainforest for three days after consuming tea made from angel trumpets. Exploring tidal cliffs, accidentally slipped into the water. Went in sideways, narrowly missed hitting my head. Just barely clawed my way out of the rough tidal zone, it was way over my head and was so choppy I was being slammed against rock. Please be careful around tidal cliff zones. T-boned by a cement truck. Guy at the tow yard couldn't believe I was still alive. Caught an incredibly rare fungus that attacked my lungs and would have attacked my other internal organs. Took two years to diagnose because it's so rare. Only patient my respirologist has ever seen with it. Dropped to almost 80 pounds. I could literally feel myself slowly dying. My mom stopped her car on the tracks when a train was coming thankfully with all the screaming of the kids she snapped out of whatever she was doing and drove off of it. Cancer stage 4. Given less than a month. That was 10 years ago. Got locked in the boot of the car for about an hour during an Australian summer. I don't remember what I did, if anything, to make my mom punish me like that. I was 8 years old car accident when I was 12. My dad was hopped up on painkillers and driving me to little league tryouts. He fell asleep at the wheel and went head and into a tree going about 40 on a country road. Broke my right femur, left arm, collapsed a lung, tore apart my left knee ligaments, crushed my left foot. I was in ICU for a few days in a coma and the femur break came really close to nicking the artery and sending me off to the land of the dead. What it really killed was all of my confidence and pretty much ruined my childhood. I developed a severe anxiety disorder and became a recluse. I stopped playing sports and just stayed indoors a lot. Cancer Lost my legs though. Double murder robbery I missed because I was doing bong rips with my ride. Ruby Tuesdays, 1998, July 4th if I'd been on time to work that day, instead of 10 minutes late, I'd be dead, too. I went in the back, before the cops even secured the place. Saw too much. Miss you Joanna, and I know your little boy is happy and healthy and with your family. Brain tumor and brain cancer. The cytostatic treatments were horrible, I vomited more than 10 times a day and shot myself more than 10 times a day, could barely stay awake couldn't communicate with anyone because as soon as I tried to talk I vomited, lost all my muscles, almost starved to death, got underweight, got diplopia, my spine got bent due to my position when I laid down all day, lost my eyebrows, got too thick saliva to be able to swallow it and more. This actually happened to me recently, July 20, 2023, I was hit by a truck while riding my bicycle, multiple compound fractures in my leg, and a cracked pelvis. Luckily walked away with my life and no head injuries. When we were getting in the car to go to school, my little brother had this habit of turning on the ignition. One day, he forgot to open the garage door. Our mom wasn't very quick to get her bag that day. I remember talking to him and how we both agreed we were still tired, and I remember waking up to the sound of the garage door opening and my mom being pissed. I died during gallbladder surgery when the surgeon accidentally nicked my liver and I bled out. Thankfully, he managed to reel of me and I'm still here 22 years on. Giving birth Not me, but my childhood friend. We were playing with my dad's tools in the garage when my friend felt something sting him. He dropped the hammer he had, and a black widow went crawling away. We both looked at each other, then the bite. On the skin in between his fingers, there are two pin marks where the fangs pierced him. We didn't tell anyone BC we weren't supposed to be there. Luckily, he didn't die, but in retrospect, that could have turned out a whole lot worse. Dismantling an intact WW-2 era mortar round with a hammer, punch and vice grips. Or so Eve been told afterwards, but personally disagree. Music